Greetings viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to another vlog. This is Farmer Angel and you're at the channel Fruits for the Youths. So peeps, I'm heading on the farm today. It's been raining all week. This is the most beautiful day I've seen in a while. Most beautiful day I've seen in a minute peeps. Every day rain comes like 11, 12. Yesterday came 8.30 in the morning. The day before that it came 8.30. So I'm just chancing it now to go over by the river, head to the farm, see if I can get some stuff done. Now, during that period, peeps, you know, it's my time to burn grass so I can get the farm ready for November. It's past the middle of October now, but the river has been giving us problems, peeps, to cross. You know, yesterday I came over here and I crossed and I pretty much had to take off all my clothes to get across what I, I did so this morning the water is a little bit more clearer and I'm gonna head over there now look right here peeps so the water has been deep right here we, we don't have any pass anymore see right there where you see the water down here right there we used to walk there <clears throat> now we can't walk there anymore but anyways I am going across this morning. Look, peeps, you can see where it's the, 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 um, the banks are cracking. But let's see how it goes. Oops. See, peeps, there's a slide right there. I almost went over there. So I have to be careful of crossing right here. We don't have any way to cross now, peeps. Very, very rough to get across, peeps. But I have to get across. <laughs> Alright. Now I'm in, peeps. Jokes. No jokes, peeps. River misery, everybody. I have to get across, you know. I have to get across. And this is no jokes, peeps. No jokes. This is what the farmers basically have to go through. And you know, you see that people there who want free goods, free products, just can't happen, peeps. Farmers have to go through a lot of stress. And I know they have some farmers who go through worse stress than this. But you know, we have to do what we have to do. So, with all that said and done, peeps, I'll see you on the farm. Out. So, yes, peeps, you're here on the farm. Made it over safe. Now, what I'm trying to do, peeps, is to get some land prepared to plant more pumpkin. Let me show you the progress of the pumpkins. Now, this is what the pumpkin look like right now. Here is kind of like shaded. So, these are not really exposed to the sun. But this is the progress. Now yesterday what I did peeps, in the afternoon I came and I mold the roots of the pumpkins So this is why they look like this, they are disturbed So the roots are mold And this is what they look like right now All the way over Pumpkins are not looking too bad peeps And over there we have corn And the corn are very beautiful at this moment There's a root right here so what I'm kind of doing now, peeps, seems seem like the pumpkin is on a level now. I'm gonna, the corns are there too. So you have a little man on here with the pumpkin and the, the corn. Alright. Now right over where I dig the ginger the other day. Right over there. Where the banana and the plantain trees are. Where the grass is brown right here. I have to put some more pumpkin holes. Sorry, corn holes. Alright. Now this one. I don't know what's going on for it. Seems a little off. Now peeps, I have a cabbage nursery down here. I want to take a look at the cabbage nursery. Now look at the pumpkins peeps, how, it's, how it just spread out. Now the ones over here are much more mature, I should say. Look at them. 
looking very lovely they are running now these are exposed to the sun a lot so we don't have any problems with these right here and you know I got pumpkin all different stages Cause look right here another stage of pumpkin right here compared to right here it's also a different stage so we have different stages of pumpkin peeps see more pumpkin more pumpkin right here peeps my whole goal is to fill all of here with pumpkin sweet potatoes peeps oh my gosh they are looking lovely so in the future can't really afford it now to put sweet potato all over here because it takes a lot of money and manpower to get this done no the whole aim is to fill these one two three that i'm standing in four five six beds over there with sweet potato for the future all here with sweet potato and then over where the bushes are i'm going to put pumpkin over there all right that is the whole aim peeps now i want you to take a look at my cabbage nursery this nursery today is a week old they have two leaves on them as soon as they get the third leaf i'm going to start to treat it and you can look and see that they are, they are about to get the third leaves to be very careful weeding out stuff now this is the new cabbage that is on the market it's a hybrid cabbage so as you can see this is a 5,000 5, pack right here and it seems as if every single one of the seeds hatched peeps no jokes so I'm very excited to plant this cabbage right here now if you know that the, where the cabbage was on that side of the farm that's where I'm going to plant these so I made the nursery right here almost in the pumpkin bed another pumpkin right here peeps this pumpkin right here now is ready to be fertilized and move forward see more pumpkin peeps now the pumpkin here is a result of hurricane burial where I couldn't afford really to you know to have the men here working so I basically did all of this by myself peeps and of course wifey helped out a lot when she's not at school she come to the farm with me and help a lot and this is what the farm looks like no no I have another set of sweet potato right here these are just three weeks old look how they look this one here is now eight weeks So there's a five week gap between here. Now some of the spots piece where pumpkin should be, there's no pumpkin. Like right there. Yeah, there's pumpkin right here. See a little pumpkin right there. This is pumpkin right here too. So people have pumpkin everywhere almost here. No, it wasn't easy peeps to get the farm on this level. As you know, it's been raining and the bush is killing us. And some parts of the farm doesn't have a lot of bush and some part does now what I've been doing for the past couple of days I've been trying to get here around the land ready so I can put some planting and sugar cane around there and if you look carefully we see that the grass has been burnt I use a glyphosate over there so you won't see where that's been burnt it works slowly but because of the rain peeps you know I definitely have to go back through see grass looks somewhat disturbed based on the rain that we've been getting I'm trying to open up the woodlands to get rid of the rats peeps remember I have sweet potatoes and I'm going to plant a lot of sweet potato here so I'm trying to open up the woodlands so the rats doesn't come here are some more pumpkin over here peeps and start running more pumpkin now I like over there is looking people it has been burnt and slowly but surely getting there now here on the land right here people I haven't burned this side as yet but I'm trying to get there 
I have me a mist blower that I'm using right now. My cousin came and saw the trouble that I'm in. And he was kind enough to get me a mist blower. Lend me his mist blower peeps. And I'm very grateful for that. So what I'm gonna do to this this morning, I can't use the camera to really while I'm using the mist blower. Of a pumpkin died. I'm not looking so healthy. But it's a lucky thing I support supported the the crop. There's an empty mount right there. So maybe oh, any one of these have more than one um more than three I'll just carry and um support the rest of the holes. So this morning peeps I need to take care of all of here with the mist blower. Alright? So I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna go through and burn some grass. Now people might say the mist blower should make the work easier. In some cases, yes. You burn the land a little bit quicker than the spray bottle. But peeps, the mist blower is very heavy. And then the bush is very high, so it's like I'm lifting weights. While I'm now you can see where here has been quilled due to burning. So I mean a quarter of the land has been burned. What I did first, I used a different type of burn on the outside, some 24D to kill the woodland and the wisps around. You cannot plant use a 24D on this land peeps where the pumpkin is because 24D will kill everything plus when the pumpkin get, hits the land it will just run 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 and do not bear so you need to avoid using the the 24D herbicide on the land if you're going to plant pumpkin so what I did peeps I use the 24D on the outside where the tall grasses are and then I use the guy cut they call it hot burner right here all right so as you can see peeps the pumpkin is looking very lovely go all the way down just need to use some fuse laid down and burn through the grass so it keep on a level but i'm very happy as to what is taking place with the pumpkin peeps mm -hmm. it's a little root right here so man where are you going with you good yeah, this is rich i there a long time i go here i go now Awesome man. Sound man is here peeps passing through as usual. So Mr. start burning on the sound man. Why yes, sir? Mm -hmm. Hot burn on this you know. But I glide so fit down this now anyway take a while. Me now see what I go on. Me now see about next week to go show. Mm -hmm. So I'm here now peeps. Sound man has joined me. So let's see how it goes. So I'll see you in a little bit. peeps it's a struggle but I'm getting it done so what I'm gonna do now peeps I'm gonna start up at the blower and I'm gonna see if I can um, pretty much finish spraying so let's see how that goes so I'm gonna start this machine now peeps and ensure that
Go babes. Just I know that because we have the pumpkin here, I don't want to spray towards this direction. So I came out of the bush to spray in that direction now. So when I have a little spray on them. on the journey with me today thanks for watching remember gossip is a broke people sport love your parents love your neighbors and proves with you would say peace out